Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen Kermitrant. Today is Mini Monday Madness and we're painting a couple of hummingbirds. Aren't they cute? Very simple, easy tutorial to do for a beginner, even intermediate, or even expert. Um, we're just doing a wet and wet technique, simple bleeding in colors, the birds, using one brush and many colors of paint that I'll go over as we do the tutorial. If you have any questions again please leave them in the comment section I'll try and get back to them so let's get started okay so I'll go over my supplies I have my two pieces of three inch by three inch arches 100% cotton cold pressed paper my paints I'll go over, them, go over them as I use them I have two three water jars up here I printed out um, some reference and I'll attach it to the description box so basically I printed out this hummingbird and then I flipped it on my computer so I have the same hummingbird flipped this way so I could do two. And then I printed out another hummingbird with colors so I can see some fun colors. These guys don't have fun colors. Sorry. They're cute looking, but they're not fun colors. So we're making up our own little hummingbird. I like all the purples and the greens and turquoise and the pink beak. So we're going to play with the colors on that one. So you have this guy's as reference. I drew them out um, right here. You can see the slightly drawn images. Um, let's get rid of this. So we're going to just start by painting his body, some of his wings. Now I already have a hummingbird, a bigger one tutorial with a flower. Um, it's pretty popular. You can check it out through my uh, YouTube. So I'm going to take some turquoise here, straight from the tube. I also used, um, I put a little of this <clears throat> tropical pink, um, Dr. P.H. Martin's concentrated watercolor, just a teeny bit. It's real intense. It's going to give us a great magenta pink color tones. So we're going to be working with very bright tones. Let me zoom in a little bit. So I sketched them out, like I said, and I had a little trumpet flowers here that were the purple kind of pink tones. Um, I'm going to start just you want to work kind of fast. I'm going to do, I'm going to use a brush that's small. I'm going to use my Princeton long round number six instead of number eight because it's a small piece of paper. And what I'm going to do is get his body wet, not super wet, just damp, you know. So I'm just doing his head and now going around the eye. I don't want the eye to get any paint on it. And I'm just filling in the body with just water not too much just enough I'm going to bleed in some of these color tones so it has a bright green in here you know and then there's some turquoise bleed it in here it doesn't have to look like the darn picture you know um, these creatures come in so many tones I'll throw in some blue Cerulean blue. They could have this tropical pink color tone coming down here. Already, just by bleeding all these fun colors in, he's like a funky, cute hummingbird. Like I said, I'm just bleeding in all different tones. I got some ultramarine in here, just pushing in. See, I'm just dabbing that in. Having some fun with this guy. Grab that turquoise back up again and go up to the top. You can grab a little more of this purple, put it up here. But see how simple that was? You just damped, put some damp water on the, the, the shape and the silhouette of the bird. And then you're just going to dab in with your brush all these little colors. Again, putting some of this bright pink down here and that each bird can look completely different this one could have a little more pink and purple in it the other one can have some more blue and turquoise here. I'm just making some of that and for the wing um, similar kind of effect well we're gonna just kind of splash out like my, my tutorial of the other one who's gonna put some water here just a little bit 
carving out like that. We can grab some of the purple. See, you can go like that. Just splatter it out. Grab the purple up here again. And then I'm going to grab, because it's kind of a pinky magenta and the wing that you see here on the picture. Now you could keep it very straightforward, like a normal type of wing, or like me, splatter it out, like just push the paint out, make it have some movement. See, I'm just going like this, just simple strokes, outward, like that. And then you can go back in and add just tippy tap, tippy tap, <laughs> the dark purple. See that? And it lends itself to this movement. And I would clean up my brush, take some of this turquoise, and tap it in too. Right out there. Give it some fun movement. Now you can go put the uh, trumpet flower up there. I'll grab some of this purple, mix it with some of the pink again. Got a very magenta look to it. But it was very simple to make. See, now that's for the trumpet flower. It's not pink enough. Put some more of this pink in here. Okay. Just a simple, like, downward shape flower. So I'm just taking my brush and pushing it downward. You see, like this? You can get serious and make the real rigid lines. Do like an up and down movement here. And you get that trumpet type flower that they'd like to go and get the nectar from. I love hummingbirds. To me, it's like magic. So just fill it in. If you want to go back in and add some purple to the end so it bleeds in a little bit, a little darker tone. Going to grab some green. Doesn't really show it, but I would just put some in, just to just to give it some variety. So that if you want to separate the paintings and give one to a friend, or keep one, or just you know have them in different places in your house. And now for the pointer, I'm gonna leave that. You can make that. I'm gonna use that. They show on that one picture, bright pink, but I like to make it black. That's his little pointy nose, and I go in here. And I'll do the eye after his uh, colors have all dried up because it's going to bleed. I can go back in if it's still wet and add some more turquoise, more bright green around the eye. I'm going to grab some ultramarine and bleed it up in here. Like I said, it's you can just play around just by adding some colors. I'm gonna add some ultramarine up in here. More like right out of the tube, so it's not gonna bleed as much. And you're gonna get these. I'm gonna move these my paintbrush downward. To make these lines that you see in his wings. So I'm gonna grab some paint right out of the tube. Teeny bit of water. Put these lines down like that. I'm going to dab some of that same blue downward. And then grab some purple. Some of the pink up in here. Like I said, it doesn't have to be these colors. You can throw in some yellow. Take some of this lime yellow. Dab some of that in. Just to brighten it up a little bit. So I'm going to take some of that green away and I'll put in a little yellow. So it's even like a lime green. But still. So the same premise with the other one over here. I'll zoom in a little more. There we go. Let's get a closer look. So again, my brush. Not too much water. If it's too much water, dab it on your paper towel. I'm just filling in his body so it's damp with water. It's not super wet. It's just 
if you turn your head and look sideways at your piece of paper, you should be able to see the water and shouldn't look super shiny. It should just look a little damp. If that makes any sense. And then go back in. And this time, we'll change it up. We'll add some yellow. Some dark yellow. Some red. And I'll add a little green in here. And turquoise. Changing up a bit, not too much. A little more ultramarine up in here. Purple up the top. Darker. It's kind of like a rainbow. <laughs> and I'm looking at it. So I might have to change that up a little bit because I didn't intend on having a rainbow hummingbird. Maybe take out the red. Make it less rainbowy. Add in more of this green. It's a lot of fun <clears throat> to uh, put in these colors. And you see how easy it was. It's just bleeding in some fun, simple colors. So maybe this time it looks a little rainbowy. That's okay. Like I said, we can keep playing around with adding blues. I guess they both kind of look rainbowy. Bright greens, more of that turquoise. Just bleed it down here. The same thing with the wings. I'll get it damp. Go like this. It has a little green in my brush, so the color's a little green. That's okay. I might do this one cerulean blue instead of that purple. Change it up. See, I'm just taking that brush, pushing out. You get that movement. All right, so this one's a little more splattery, and I left a little. Take some of this paint off because I'm not liking how that came out. So I'll just take some water and I'll damp that. Go and grab a paper towel and lift that up. You might want to grab a not so great brush to really get it off. Just go in there. There you go. So I can fix that. And grab some of this turquoise. Yeah, it still looks fun. It's not quite kind of doing what I want it to do, but you get the point. going out this way. These wings are going to be cut off, but that's fine. And then we'll do the trumpet flower. Again, wiggle, wiggle. We do two, three, four, five. How many do you ever want? Throw in the dark purple. Grab some of that bright green leaves. I might add a little dark green on the edges here, which I can do in this one, but I can do that one. It's kind of great to paint two at once, like I said, so that if you, you can keep them for yourself, or if you want to give them as gifts, you can, you're painting two at once, it's easier. You know, you don't have to paint it one at a time. Putting some leaves over here and leaves over here. Gonna put some darker tones into this guy. Here's some cerulean blue and some turquoise. Just darkening it up just a bit.
some ultramarine purple dioxide again with those little lines it's a little this one's a lot more damp but if you have it concentrated right from the tube it's just a teeny bit of water it's not going to bleed as much putting in some little lines in here play around with it you know I'm just playing around with all the colors that I have here again his little beak I'm making black this one's already dry so you can go and put the eye in I'm gonna leave a little halo on his eye so I'm just filling black outline and then I'm gonna go in and put a little halo right there this one's a little wet still I would wait for that one and for his feet you can put a little feet you don't have to put the feet in the picture shows the feet and again for this one we haven't done the splattering but you know you can grab some of that turquoise it's a little wet over here but so it might splatter a little different but splatter it grab some of the pink purple I'll grab some of this radiant pink um, excuse me tropical pink mix with that purple just have some fun splattering splattering about it gives it that fun movement uh, you can splatter some yellow so it has that kind of rainbow effect to it but this one dried a little too it's just like flat and this one has a nice brightness to it so I'm gonna just gonna fill that side in but you get the idea you guys are very smart you just fill that in I can add a little deep purple on the top just to blend it down a little more and once it dries you can add some lines if you want so we're gonna dry this come back okay so I dried it so I can go back in with that purple pink tones I'd make it a little bit darker and you can just go in and put some these lines in grab this purple a little more concentrated let's put these lines in show the ridges of the trumpet flowers I don't know what that's what I'm calling them I don't really know what they are really and then for the other one you put in his eye a little wet halo you can add more detail to the wings at this point um, like I said oops get a little darker don't be afraid to use and use a little black in here I wouldn't be afraid at all a little black with a little purple just don't be afraid throw that in grab some of the purple just to make those wings stand out a little more and the back tail here and add details onto the leaves if you want to have leaves with veins in them you want to put some more leaves down in here you know wispy kind of leaves going everywhere and that's that and you just pull off the tape oh I didn't mention <laughs> I taped them down it's obvious that I taped them down and I use Scotch magic tape uh, I talk about this a lot I actually put the tape on my shirt and then pull it up so I'm gonna pull up these magical mystical creatures this is a fun and easy tutorial very simple didn't take long and you create something really pretty everybody loves hummingbirds this is so cute aren't they pretty so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial
tutorial today. Um, don't forget to hit, forget to hit the bell notification button. Um, please like, share, and subscribe so you know my channel gets some views. <laughs> um, I appreciate all 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 of you coming here and um, this community. If you have any questions, please leave in the comment section. I know I've been talking a lot about I'm doing subscription. I'm going to talk about a video. I just you know haven't had a chance because of um, the holiday weekend, but working on it. So look for that. Um, thanks again, guys. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care. I'll speak to you soon.